Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Essential Patience and I am Patience. And today's video is about the truth about earning one million dollars in scholarship money is we all know the headlines about seeing students win over a million dollars in scholarship monies and everybody just being so happy about it i feel the same way and of course it is such a big achievement i am not trying to rain on anybody's parade however i think if you have not been through the college process you may be putting too much emphasis on getting over a million dollars in scholarship money so let's get into what it actually means and why it is not necessary. I remember my first time walking into my high school. It was amazing. I had been accepted into a program and I was just so excited to start school. My program coordinator gave my parents and I a tour of the school and its facility. On the tour, she talked extensively about how much scholarship money students had acquired. That year alone, the graduating class had amassed over 14 million dollars in scholarship monies. After stating that fact, that was all my parents could talk about, how much people had in scholarship monies. Between that and reading several headlines about students who had earned over a million dollars in scholarship monies, I was confused. Did college really cost that much? Who needs that much money to attend college? Who? Especially this would be specifically for undergrad. I did not know what it meant, but I did know one thing. I was going to get a million dollars in scholarship money. The thought of being a millionaire right out of high school was so enticing. I didn't know again what it meant, but I wanted it. And so I set on my path to achieve that. But what does it actually mean? Well, while senior year was rolling around, reality hit. Having a million dollars in scholarship monies meant little to nothing, especially depending on how many schools were contributing to that $1 million fund. As exciting as it is to put into a newspaper and headline and to read all about it, I can confidently say that most above average students can earn over a million dollars in scholarship money if they apply to the right number of schools. Let me explain. When totaling up how much everybody got in scholarship monies, a lot of time what they do is they take all the schools that you have applied to and combine all the financial aid you have gotten and sometimes even over the next four years. For example, if a school gave you $100,000 in scholarship monies over the next four years, meaning that as long as you are in attendance and keep a minimum grade that is provided in the contract, you will receive $25,000 per year. Totaling this up, this means that you had $100,000 in scholarship monies from that one school. Let's say you applied to 10 schools and each school gave you $100,000 over a four year period. This means that you have officially earned a million dollars in scholarship money. Congratulations! And that's it. That's how it really works. And that was my problem when I figured this out. I actually thought that people could get to keep that million dollars. I don't know why. Naivete? <laughs> I was slightly naive. But looking back, I think people put way too much emphasis on that getting over a million dollars in scholarship monies rather than focusing on getting the amount of money you need specifically for the school that you are going to. Spending time applying for schools just so that you can say you earned over a million dollars in scholarship monies may seem like a good use of time, but personally, I think it's a waste. Even looking back, I wish I just applied to a couple of schools and focused on applying for actual scholarship that I can earn without the contingency of going to a specific school. And while I don't want to minimize the achievements of earning over a million dollars in scholarship monies, I think it's really important to talk about it since the student loan debt is growing so much. If so many students are earning over a million dollars in scholarship money, why do you have so much student loan debt? By the way, I know the two are not connected. I'm just stating a fact. But if you ask me, is it worth it? My simple answer, no. It is not worth it, especially if you're not actually planning on going to those schools or seriously looking into them. I think it is a waste of time because you spend time on those applications and also wasted the time of all the teachers and professors who send you letters of recommendation. And thirdly, I think it can be a waste of money if you're actually paying for each and every single application fee. I know some people get it for free, but other times you have to pay and you're paying 25 to $100 on application fees 
on a school that you are not even interested in going. While I never seriously pursued getting over a million dollars in scholarship monies once I figured out what was going on, I wish I knew specifically what schools I wanted to attend and had honed in on those. I am not here to destroy your dream of getting over a million dollars in scholarship money. However, if you ask me what is a better use of your time, I would say that find the top schools that you are actually interested in attending and apply. Do not apply to a certain amount of schools just because you want to be like, hey, I got into 20 schools. The truth is most people can get into 20 schools. There are over 2,000 colleges in the United States. And with decent credentials, most people can get into over 100 schools if they apply. Now, we may not be in the top 100 schools in the United States, but you can certainly get into a college if you apply. Take your time and find out the schools that you are interested in as well as the degree programs they offer that you are interested in pursuing there. And instead of focusing on just getting a million dollars in scholarship money, focus on acquiring scholarships that you can take no matter what school you attend. So focus on applying for outside scholarships, scholarships that give you a lump sum. And if you're interested, Watch my debt-free college video for more information on how to earn those scholarships. I think it is so important that we stop putting so much emphasis on getting a huge sum of scholarship money, especially when you can't take that money with you. Once you get into college and start your classes, you will look back and be like, what did I even do for my life? The only money that's going to do something for you is the one that goes with the school that you are attending. Getting accepted into 20, 30, 50 schools, each of which is giving you $100,000 and then you have over $5 million in scholarship money sounds great at the moment. It's an achievement. People will celebrate you. But does that mean that money is going with you? Wouldn't you rather focus that time on applying for 50 scholarships that you can potentially earn and get a debt-free college? And I hope that answer is yes. It was for me and I never regretted it. I am always careful to call something a scam and I don't think any of this is a scam. I think the pressures of society and even us comparing ourselves to other people may influence us in trying to go this extreme path. And you should think about what is really important to you. What are you trying to get out of your high school experience and your college experience? In 10 years, will anybody remember that you got over a million dollars in scholarship money? More importantly, what is being able to say you earned over a million dollars in scholarship money is doing for you? For me, it did nothing. Until I started really applying to outside scholarships, scholarships I could take anywhere. The only scholarships that were impactful were the ones that actually went towards paying for my college degree so I could stand here today, sit here today, and say that I graduated debt free. And isn't that the most important thing? To go to college, to learn, and to gain all this experience and pay very little or even nothing for it? For me, that was my choice. And I can say I'm definitely happy with that. I hope this video was helpful. I wasn't trying to say that getting a million dollars in scholarship money is bad. Again, that's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is that it's not the end all be all. And there's nothing wrong with prioritizing actually getting into a college and earning the money to go towards your degree. So please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comment section, did you earn a million dollars in scholarship monies? If so, what did that do for you? Do you regret spending so much time applying for colleges and do you wish you had spent it on scholarships instead? Well, let me know. I'm interested in reading it. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.